Now, if you've been watching the last couple of videos, you'll see that I put my Roughnecks through the foam leather cleaner and then Red Wing's leather cream. Now there's a bunch of great products from Red Wing, but this is the kind of stuff they recommend for their heritage line. And I gotta say guys, it's looking sharp. So if you're into boots, if you're into guy related stuff, consider subscribing for more videos just like this. This stuff comes in about nine to $11 for four ounces. So that's roughly $2.50 an ounce. So it's an awesome deal. Now it looks like it might be an aerosol can, but it's really not. It's actually just a metal tin with liquid in there and a little spray applicator. Now this stuff says combustible right there on the front label. So friends, if you're out there at night smoking your cigar, polishing up those mock toes, I would just advise that you make sure and spray in the opposite direction of your face. As many of you know, this channel is my journey. And so I've actually been learning a lot more about these protector sprays over the past period of time. And I gotta say that this stuff is actually becoming a staple in my cleaning routine. Now this is actually gonna go for a lot more than just your boots, a lot of leather products. So whether it's your wallet, your belt, your handbag, Maybe you have a leather iPhone protector. Make sure you take your phone out first, but there's all kinds of great uses that you can get out of this other than just your Red Wing boots. The issue is that you gotta make sure you're using the right products because sadly some of this stuff could end up doing more harm to your boots than good in the long run in terms of your leather. Now I was just talking to a mate from one of the leading boot care companies and he was explaining some stuff to me that really just made sense. Now you think of this stuff as cleaning, polishing, protecting, just like we're gonna do in this video. But he was talking to me about new boots. Now, he says that when he gets a set of new boots, he doesn't condition it, he doesn't clean them. And that made perfect sense to me because, well, the boots are brand new. But he said he always recommends for a guy to run some spray over the boots right out of the box. And you know what, guys, that made good sense to me because you're gonna start protecting them right off the get-go. We're coming into winter here. Well, it's already here in Colorado. And I'll tell you what, friend, there's water, there's snow, there's mud. Uh, depending on what state you live in, they might be running salts or even on the sidewalks. So you really wanna protect this stuff because if we protect a set of boots like this, as I always tell you, friends, it's gonna last into the ages. I wanna get into the ingredients list a bit. And friends, Red Wing actually has an ingredient disclosure page. I'll put a link to that in the description below if you wanna check that out. But essentially this is made up of water, that isopropyl, I'm probably saying that wrong, alcohol, and then their trade secret ingredients. Now that alcohol is gonna get things moving. Of course, that's where you get that flammability. The water's gonna get things moving, but that trade secret, which we don't know much about, is really what's doing the work here. As your common gentleman, guys, I'm not a chemist, so we have to look at this stuff and do our best to try to understand it. I'm keen to know if you guys understand a bit more about this stuff, and you can let me know in the comments below but one of the great things we can do is see what's not in the ingredients list and sometimes we can learn more from that so what we know is this doesn't have any silicones and for a heritage guy that's music to our ears because we don't want silicones in there as we know it's gonna clog up the pores of our leather and it's gonna prevent that future conditioning and it's ultimately gonna deteriorate your boots so I often say you know look for what you don't see in the chemicals and that's gonna give you a little bit of information as well. Up next, friends, I wanna put this stuff to work. Now, a good rule of thumb with this is just hold it six to eight inches. You wanna give it a good shake, and I like to just make sure it's spraying right, so I hit it out in the air a little bit. Uh, but you're gonna hold it back and just cover it as good as possible. Now, we're not completely saturating this stuff, uh, and this becomes more important when you're talking sunscreen. Friends, I think it was last summer, you know, I was into the spray, sunscreen and I ended up you know hitting my arms and I was doing these streaks I didn't realize but I ended up looking like a zebra now guys that's not a look that any gentleman wants to have I ended up having these white spots and then these burn spots and it was just terrible so just like with the sunscreen you want to make sure it's a good even coat and this doesn't require any kind of brushing or anything like that you don't have to rub it down just set it and you're good to go. So friends, the rule of thumb here is to give it about 24 hours. Now, if you're like me, I've been known to cut that way, way short, but the more boots you get, the easier that becomes. You know, if you have two or three sets of boots, it's really easy just to 
set these aside and grab your Thursdays, grab your thousand mile boots and just get on with your day. Now I'm gonna put a link to this stuff in the description below. Check it out if it's something that you want and consider throwing that on your new pair of boots as well. Guys, we're doing a bunch more conditioner videos. If we haven't got to yours yet, your favorite, you know, just hold off, I bet it's coming. But anyways, I'd love to know in the comments below, what's your go-to care routine? You know, is there something that you wanna see on the channel that we haven't covered yet? Guys, I'm having a blast here. I hope you are too. If you are, hit the like button. Consider subscribing, being part of the journey. Until the next video, friends, God bless you. And hey, don't forget to show those boots some love from time to time.